I'm going to tell you a very simple story. I, I don't know when I became a storyteller, but I've become a storyteller and because I think if we're giving people voice, that's uh, a, a very powerful way to share expectations. So I was asked to review uh, a, a patient in the family just recently and I was asked to review them because of the fact that the team caring for this, this patient, this family, were concerned about the, the fact he was experiencing reasonably complex symptomatology. As, as the conversation went on, we, we, we talked a lot about symptoms and then started to touch on what was actually important to, to this person, to this family. And although the symptoms were deemed as distressing by those caring for him, in actual fact, what this family most wanted was for this man to feel fresh air on his face, to be in a room with an open window. And that was, that was their main concern. So although we were able to address the physical symptoms and we were most concerned about it, in actual fact, the reality of what this person wanted was something quite, quite different to our agenda. So to me, any, any project that's saying we must communicate with people, we must start, start these conversations, we must continue these conversations, and we must put the patient at the centre, because so often it seems end of life care is actually clinician centred and we have to turn it around to become patient centred and the only way we'll do that is by understanding people's wishes. If we don't understand people's wishes we won't address them. So one of the main focuses of this project is communicate with people and to me that's perhaps the most powerful starting point and I believe everything will fall out much more easily if we just talk to people.